from what I understand no sa sa conflict na punta na tayo doon sa conflict between Israel and Palestine. So this is not a war. Uh, I don't think it's a war between Palestine and, and and Israel. It is a complete massacre. No, hindi ito war. Eh. Kasi kung war to, Ukraine versus Russia sana. A state versus a state uh, na nagwar. Hindi man masyadong powerful ang Ukraine versus Russia, but a state nonetheless. This is a massacre. Kasi hindi naman state sponsored ang Hamas. It's a terrorist group na hindi re- ni recognize ng 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 Palestine. It, it, it doesn't rep- uh, the Hamas doesn't represent Palestine and ang pagbomba ng Israel sa sa Palestine is is ethnic cleansing, no? Hindi hindi justified ang bombahan ng isang isang area just because nandoon nakatira yung mga <laughs> yung mga tag- uh, yung mga Hamas. It's just like here in the fil- in in Butuan siguro if na taga dito yung um, taga dito yung tawag doon Maute Maute is it fair na bombahan ang butuan <laughs> ang daming hindi muslim dito at kahit na marami pang muslim they are not all Maute di ba so it is it is idiotic na bombahan so it is not a war no it is it is murder it is genocide uh, isa pa uh, about the argument doon sa ano sa may mga tao kasi na, na mga atheist uh, typically nagsasabi na ang root cause nito is religion it is because of religion i do not yun agree yung, ay, y- yun yung parang nasa thought ko initially yun yung nasa thought mo Mm-mm. when we heard that a lot of atheists yun na nga sabi ko sa inyo eh, ang, ang gulo talaga ng religion eh kaya kaya ako mali sa kaya ako naging atheist eh, kasi ang gulo Ganyan. tas tas may pinopost na imagine no oh, <laughs> people kat yung ano imagine no religion ah may nagpo-post na ganyan mga ganun kasi typically talaga pag there's like a conflict between two opposing religions ah that's because of religion guys it's not because of religion it is it is land grabbing no it is an entity that wants to grab a portion of a land na hindi sa kanila hindi iyon because of religion hindi yon kinuha sa kanila kasi palestino sila or uh, majority sa kanila is muslim kaya kinuha sa kanila no kaya, nag-aaway sila no it could be a christian nation and kukunin talaga yun ng, ng israel kasi hindi problema dito ang religion ang problema dito is merong few people that are in power that wants to grab lands and gawin kunin yung ano nila kun, kunin yung hindi sa kanila to make it what to make the area what to make their own to expand their territory mm. di ba so hindi i mean religion has may 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 ano dito may may involvement ang religion dito eh but it its involvement is ginawa lang siyang tool to justify the killing ginawa lang siyang tool to justify the land grabbing same thing with what happened to to sa, sa time ng ano slavery sa US ginustify ang bible eh ginawa ginamit ng mga slaves kaya to to justify na okay lang naman maging slave and ginamit ng mga slave owners to justify na okay ang ang mang own ng slaves mang own ng tao mang own ng tao so it's justified so Um, you can I know the Bible the Torah the Quran has specific teachings to own people to grab lands to rape women to murder children I know it is written in your holy book but I am respecting the people yung mga apologies na sumasayaw ginagamit ang mental gymnastic tricks nila to really convince other people na hindi naman ganyan yung libro namin so As, so long as you exist I am happy na you you the apologist exist kasi di, uh, hindi mo gina justify yung mga naisulat na mga pangit doon sa mga holy books nyo hindi gumagawa kayo ng kwento para i-distract ang tao na hindi naman yan tinuro sa bible namin Mal- mm-hmm. malika so that's 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 ano that's worthy of praise for me kasi ginamit nyo yung empathy nyo yung pagka-human ninyo to not follow your own book and that's exactly. enough for me 
you no know? so let's not let's not pretend that your book ha- isn't cancer it is cancer but because of people with human feelings you change <laughs> ikaw mismo ang nagcontradict sa libro mo para maging okay ang mundo so yun hindi religion ang issue why um why the conflict happened uh, it's it's simply a sim- it's simply a land grabbing na issue it, they have been doing that the, the the state of Israel has been doing that for for decades seven decades na 70 years na and um um and um until now ginagawa pa din nila uh, paano nila na pull off yon gumawa sila ng mga policy na discriminating versus uh, dinidiscriminate ang mga Palestine, Palestinians binibigyan ng advantage ang mga Jews so pag gusto nila magpa, magpatayo ng building grabe yung requirements na pinihingi nila sa mga Palestine hindi masyado sa mga Jews hindi hindi ka makakapag-travel hindi ka walang <laughs> It's not a recognized na location ang Gaza. So if you are from somewhere else and gusto mo mag-visit ng Gaza, it is not a destination for you to land on, no? So kailangan ka pang dumaan sa isang for example sa Jordan para du- makarating ka sa Gaza or yon. May mga specific na ID, driver's license ang Palestinians versus Jew. So they've been doing that for many years through policies through laws na iniipit ang tao and gumagawa sila ng mga boundaries na ito yung boundary nila even though it, it, it is not. So, Palestinian people are becoming really, really small na in terms of population kasi nag expand lagi ang state of Israel. They're even inviting non, mga non-residents, mga taga-US na na mga Jew na pun- pumunta sa Israel para magtayo para mag, para magtayo ng bahay kasi they, it's their rightful na ano right right daw nila yon so this is not a problem with the Jewish belief na ganito kasi yung mga Jewish belief eh, kaya kaya ano kaya kaya ginagawa nila ito there is a pop, there is a population within their own religion that are Zionists Zionism is a belief na they are the chosen one and ang lupa nila is ang Palestinian na lupa and kailangan nilang i-take over ulit yon para sa, 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 sa sarili nila. So, wala namang problema na kayo lang exclusive sa isang country, Muslim lang or Christian lang or Jew lang. Wala namang problema. Kahit nga tayo eh, as an atheist, gawa tayo ng country na tayo lang. Wala nang iba na makaka-enter para sa atin lang to. And okay lang naman yan. Kaso ang ginawa nila, they were already occupied. The country that they're trying to, the country that they're trying to, ano, grab, mayroon ng mga occupants. So that's not, that's the wrong. Yun yung mali nila. May mga occupants na ilang porsyento ang, mus- ang Christian doon sa Palestine? 20%. Maraming Muslim, marami ding Jew. So, hindi na tama na gawin mong isang Israel state ang isang state that's already occupied with other with other with other na mga religious belief. So yun yung mali ni ano ni ni Israel as a state. Now, people are argued diyan naman talaga sila original naka nakastay. So if if that is your argument, then pwede pa lang kunin ng mga ano ng mga Native Americans ang originally sa kanila from the American citizens now. So hindi kasi ganoon. Dapat ang konteksto sa pagsabi natin na na and tawag doon, na may right silang kunin 'yun, ang isang lupa. Ang konteksto dapat natin is walang nag-occupy. Dapat ganoon yung konteksto. Wala namang nag-occupy dito, so amin to. Um gawa na, g- gawin namin tong state, if, uh, let's work on a process para maging atin to. Indigenous kayo sa area na 'yan. Kaso may occupants eh. So let's Okay, okay, sabihin na natin na, na exile ang mga Jew or something, na exile sila. Kasalanan ba 'yun sa mga generations na tumira na na hindi na hindi na alam ang Ottoman Empire? Hindi na hindi na naabutan yung anumang mga giyera sa dati. Kasalanan ba nila na pinanganak sila sa lupa na nandoon? Bakit mo sila paaalisin? Naka naka, naka na sila doon, 'di ba? So, 
that's the context hindi yung originally naman so ano yung original uh, di ba ang mga african so africans ang original na owners dito sa sa mundo galing tayo da- lahat sa Af- sa ano eh sa africa so <laughs> the owners of the world is africans ganun ba dapat yung arguments natin kasi how when should we stop by the way uh, i googled palestine hmm. sa google map hmm. and it's not there hmm? it's not there hindi siya sa map wala siya sa wala google wala siya sa google map so ano yung ano israel wala wala siyang name meron <laughs> lang siyang name na israel tapos gaza street tapos wala na uh. wala na walang nakalagay na palestine yeah. Pero meron naman silang map kaya nag-wonder ako if mm. they are a country. Mm. I, I, ano, I, I Google na lang, I chat GPT. Okay. So yun, um, uh, just uh, a trivia. <laughs> mm. So uh what call this. So dapat ang context is okay, you are the original se- settler dito sa lupa na to. Ano ang gagawin mo? May, may nakatirang tao. 'Di ba? Just me, are you listening? Mm-mm. 'Di ba? The ar- ganito kasi yung argument nila. Taga diyan kasi sila originally. Okay, Ayan taga diyan sila originally. Okay. Now that they are there now, okay? They, they came back to their land. There are already occupants. What is your action? Are you gonna grab it? Is that a civilized thing to do? Are you gonna grab it and take it away from them? Are, are they responsible for taking the land away from you? They are the descendants. We are the descendants of the wars that happened many, many years ago. Mm-hmm. Do does the people in the present have the right to grab the land that na na, na ano ko, na established ko? Hindi ganun, hindi, that's not how it works. Hindi mo dap, hindi hindi naman sila rightful na landowners diyan. May tumira, anong gagawin mo? Maki maki ano ba? Maki ang tawag doon. Maki-assimilate? Maki-assimilate pa o genocide? Ang pinin nila is genocide eh. Diba? Ang, Just ang, like yung... Ang pinin nila is apartheid. Yun yung term. Apartheid. Oh, parang, parang nangyari din sa US yan, diba? Sa mm-hmm. Native Americans. <laughs> yeah. Sa history nila na nang land grab sila tapos... Oh, they're not from there. They're from Europe. Kaya nga. <laughs> they, they, they are... The whites are from Europe. Nag-invade sa US. They're not originally from the US. Now, if the US will the, the if magreklamo yung mga Native Americans sa kanila ba yung lupa? Hindi. Paaalisin ba nila yung mga American? Hindi. Maki-assimilate sila. Mm-hmm. Kaya ang ang bit ang ganun ang na, 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 understand ko pa nga sa ano eh, yung indigenous, yung in context diyan ba sa ganyan ano. Indigen ka if merong uh, colonization na nangyari and ikaw yung isa sa mga hindi nagpa-colonize. So, indigenous ka. Ah, okay. Yan yung understanding ko. No? I, I, uh, yan yung understanding ko na. Mm. Hindi ka na-colonize, you, hindi ka, yun ka, nandyan ka sa area mo, hindi ka namin na, na hindi ka namin na-colonize, indigenous ka, binibigyan sila ng benefit. Like, di ba, lupa. Sa inyo na yung area na yan. Di ba, yun yung dito. Na, na, Kaya pala dito, meron so, din. Di ba, meron din. sila mga indigenous na mga rights. So, uh, what call this? Um, yun. So, we need, uh, as atheists, we need to, ano, we need to educate ourselves na hindi ito simple na religion lang na si Jew, I hate si, si, si Muslim. I, I know that we have a lot of hatred towards each, each other. Uh, atheists hate religion. Um, Christians hate atheists. Um, Muslims hate atheists. Christians hate Muslims, we all have that, those kinds of hate, but hindi ganoon ang nangyari sa Palestina at sa Israel. Gustong kunin ni, ni state ng, of Israel ang lupa and um, biktima ang Palis, Palis, Palestina. Palestine. Ang Palestine is composed of Christians, Muslims, and Jews. And Jews. Hindi ito Arabs lang. Palestinian is not Arabs or Palestinian is not Muslim. But geographically, located siya sa sa Middle East. Oo. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. So parang parang isa siya sa mga Arab nation. Isa sa isa siya sa mga Arab nation, exactly, but it's but not But they are um parang para silang they're fighting for secularity. I don't know what they're fighting. 
or Kasi, parang parang gusto lang naman na nila free. free. Oh, you Demo- are free oh. to do your your oh, own democracy. Religion, oh. no? Democratic sila. Okay. So yun, um uh yun yung nangyari and uh what else? Uh yun, sana mabigyan ng ng ang, ang Palestine, mabigyan sila ng freedom to do their thing, to move around, to be free, to, to have their freedom. But what I fear, this is another fear na naman kasi meron na naman akong negative na connotation talaga sa towards our Muslim brothers is sino yung pauupuin nyo na naman? Oo nga. Mga Islamist na naman, mga ISIS na mga kind of thinking na kayo lang dapat ang nandito, kayo lang dapat ang ang ano, law. Mga Islamist na naman ng mga utak. Kasi this is the lesson, no? dito sa sa conflict. Ang lesson is mayroon talagang basura ng mga ideology. Hindi immune ang atheist diyan. Pwede tayo na maging powerful, maging majority sa mundo and suddenly our leaders and we will support that leader na sabihin na i ano na iban na ang religion kasi ang bobo talaga ng ng religious belief. Ta- lahat ng tao dapat atheist. And, <laughs> and then i-justify niya yon gagawa siya ng mga propaganda videos na ganito talaga, ang bobo talaga ng mga kristyano, hindi immune ang atheist do- doon. Sa, mm-hmm. in, hindi man tayo religious, pero you have a toxic kind of belief na pagpatayin natin yung mga kristyano and muslim kasi they are religious. That could happen? That could happen? Yes. We are not immune. Same thing that it happened in the Philippines. Pagpatayin natin yung mga adik w- hindi na tayo gumawa ng, ng due process forget about due process, kill them all. Patikan, or yung may maraming tato, mahaba yung so, buhok, we had, patayin na. Hindi tayo, I mean, it, it was just overnight that it happened. It, it's, it was not a, it, hindi yon ginawang propaganda for many years para pagpatayin yung mga innocenteng tao. Di ba? It was overnight. And it, things could happen overnight. So, we are not, we are not immune. Um, The, 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 the cancer in this world is a belief na tayo dapat ang leader tayo dapat ang ultimate na religion tayo dapat ang ultimate na race kaya gawin natin itong law ang religious belief natin and i-discriminate natin yung ibang na hindi nagsishare ng belief natin ginawa yun ni Hitler eh, sa, <laughs> sa World War II eh. white, white supremacist siya eh. and um Uh, pinagpatay niya yung mga Jew kasi sa, sa belief niya, cancer ang Jewish sa mundo. Mga Jew people. Oo, so, target, targeted, targeted towards groups of people that are diverse. Mm-hmm. Hindi naman sila mga robot na isa lang yung thinking nila. The, sab, sabi ko nga na merong Muslim na, na pro-human rights, pro-freedom of expression, meron ding Muslim na ISIS ang utak na gusto sila lang so let us fi- fix this kind ba na utak na tayo ang special and let's learn to let's learn to unlearn no, no, let's learn to live with people na without any kind of hatred ba Mm-mm. na let's unlearn nga yung mga bias biases oh, and then learn to live with Muslims with Christians with Jews na walang pakialaman, walang mm. walang nagpapatayan, di ba? Again, um, freedom of expression, ang limit ng freedom of expression is so long as it's not promoting hate and inciting violence, so long as it's not attacking a person, then it is freedom of expression. Hindi freedom of expression yung sabihin mo na bobo ang mga Kristiano, that's hateful, no? Kasi you are attacking persons. You're attacking people. That's not a belief. Christians is not a belief. Christianity is... What if is, harmful na yung belief? Like si Senior Aguila? Exactly. Kaya nga tinitira diba? natin yung, yung idea ni Senior Aguila na nag-marry ng, ng mga, mga bata. Minor. Yun yung atake natin. Hindi yung, hindi yung patayin natin si Senior Aguila. Peace hmm. kill Senior Aguila. Hindi yun. ba? Diba? Kasi meron namang meron namang <laughs> meron namang proseso. ba? Diba? Hmm. Diba? Meron namang proseso. Let's ang ang gusto ang ang the mature thing to do is rely on the system, mm-hmm. not 
to your own kind of system na we've all done that before and barbaric ang society so let's build a society na very solid ang sistema and civilized Oo. Kasi civilization na nga kasi, tayo eh. <laughs> kasi I have barbaric thoughts. <laughs> Kaya nga. I am like a Duterte. I am. Kaya wag nyo akong i- iparan into presidency. Pagpapatayin ko kayo lahat. That God is, bless America tayo. <laughs> oh, that is why. That is why we need to create systems na my kind of personality eh, hindi maging leader. Mm-mm. My kind of uh, political na ideologies hindi maging leader. <laughs> hindi ako pwede maging leader kasi I have violent thoughts. You have Duterte thoughts. Exactly. But I am against Duterte kasi I know na yung ways niya will not work. My ways will not work. I am just thirsty for blood. No? I'm just thirsty for something horrendous to happen in this fucked up world. But I know na hindi makakwens yung thirst ko by mm. by bombing cities. By I band know. aid solutions. I know. Yeah, I just want to quench my thirst. I'm not after solutions. I think that what that's what Duterte is after. And you elected that kind of person. He was just bloodthirsty. And you were able to ano, quench his thirst. And what happened? Diba? Drugs came back. Sinabi po si, yung yung at si ano helper natin si Chen. So are you going to to elect a messiah figure or are you go, uh, going to elect a person that will fix our system? Sabi, kasi iba yung messiah figure eh. Messiahs will die. So are you going to keep on voting messiahs? So kaya nga oh, matanda na si Duterte, pinaupo niyo pag wala, balik yung drugs kasi hindi niya na solve ang drugs. Pinaupo niyo lang yung yung tao na takot ang mga drug takot lang sa isang tao. Takot lang. Mm-mm. They are just buying time. And what can you buy with your ano yung nabibili mo sa time? Bagong mga sistema, bago na ways to to, to smuggle, smuggle drugs. drugs. That's just what you're buying. You have the the, the money. That's what that's what was bought during that time walang walang bagong uh, rules about this and that wala it's just killing people and then wala fucking stupid kill Kaya those people na. and then what no reforms diba we, we we learned na yung mga bago is pinalitan lang yung sa mga yung pinatay yung mga bago na hindi hindi pa known na addict sila na yung bagong mga runner, bagong drug pusher kasi hindi hindi sila known, hindi sila nagpalista, hindi sila nalista. Mm-mm. So, wala kang tinulong na sistema para mabago ang drugs dito sa Pilipinas. Wala kang tinulong. Uh, you thought you were helping, your you were not. Like I said during the elections, countries have tried doing war on drugs. They all failed. There are ways to win this war. It's not through killing. Exactly what happened. Exactly what happened. Like I'm, I'm like a, I'm like a prophet. So, drugs are now back. Now what? They, hindi naman talaga sila na wala. Hindi naman talaga sila. They're just buying time lang eh. Hindi. Meron pa rin namang nakakagamit during the thirties time. Yeah. At meron pa rin namang bumibili kahit doble na yung I think yung ang nawala delikado I, no there are still drugs I think ang nawala is yung decency lang to buy and sell drugs during the the day, the day, day oh, the light ah. of day diba yun lang ang nawala the decency to do drugs during daylight daylight but there are still areas in the Philippines that do that na walang any kind of repercussion a lot of barangays here in Butuan are doing that during that time na ano daw na ongoing pa din ang buying and selling walang natatakot so ano ano na ano na yung war on drugs nyo wala bloodthirsty killing lang exactly <laughs> you are uh, do not be a hypocrite na kristyano ka na gusto mo ng solusyon no you are all like me bloodthirsty What? gusto nyong pumatay hindi kayo mga kristyans yeah don't be happy hypocrites na, na you are you are pro ano pro innocent people no pro What's the other pro? Pro-life? Yeah. 
You are as bloodthirsty as me. Pro life my ass. The only difference is ayaw kong gawing uh, agents of murder ang police. Yes. I want to do the murdering myself. <laughs> yes, it should not be state sponsored. You should be the one that's doing it. If you are a person that's bloodthirsty and are really hateful towards drug addicts, you, not the state. Kaya nga may Hamas eh. Terrorist na grupo. Hindi sila state sponsored. I know there are a lot of talks na ina-sponsor sila sa Iran. Ah, ina-sponsor pa nga ng US ang ano eh, Israel. <laughs> Which is a terrorist na state. So do not use money from other people which comes from tax money to do your you know do it, yes. do it oh, yourself do it yourself cuz kasi pag state sponsored hindi naman lahat agree taxpayers agree agree sayo yan Kaya nga sinabi ko during Duterte's time eh sana si sana ginawa niyo na lang na Batman si Duterte hindi hindi politician kasi si Batman tumakbo ba as a senator ang ginawa niyang white knight niya is si Harvey Dent. Gusto niya ang gawing gusto niya yung, yung yung nagawa na conclusion ni Batman eh sobra na yung crime sa Gotham. A Harvey Dent is the solution. Policies are the solution. Kaya na nga sobra sobra na corrupt na sobra na na corrupt yung ano uh, na na corrupt si Harvey Dent. Na na crazy siya kasi pinatay yung yung wife o oh, yung girlfriend niya. Ah, si si Two-Face. Oo, pinatay yung ah, fiance okay. niya. So na crazy siya. So ano, tumakbo ba si Batman? Tumakbo ba si Bruce Wayne pagka senador? Hindi. O pagka president. Hindi, Black Black Knight siya. Dark Knight. Kaya nga Dark Knight eh, meaning alam niya na masama yung vigilante justice. Alam niya na huhulihin siya ng mga police. Even though what he's doing in his head is the right thing to do to put the criminals in prison, hindi pa nga niya pinapatay yung ano eh. Alam niya na mag, mas, mabuti yun, pero alam niya na hindi siya nagfa-follow sa due process. Hindi siya police. Hindi siya, hindi siya senador. Hindi siya ano, vigilante justice yung ginagawa mm-hmm. niya. There is a process. There is a process. So, sana ang ginawa niyo kay Duterte, ginawa niyo na sana siyang si Batman. Mm-hmm. Sinuportahan niyo yung DDS niya, yung Davao Death Squad. Whatever that Davao Death Squad is. Kasi we all know na if Duterte did something wrong, he can't, he, hindi niya magagamit yung power niya to defend himself. Mm-hmm. Ano nangyari? Ginawa niyo siyang mayor at DDS at the same time. So it's very, very powerful. <laughs> kontrolado niya yung police, kontrolado niya yung congress, kontrolado niya yung mga powerful na mga businessmen. Kasi mayor. So don't put people that have weird thoughts in their heads that are extremist. Don't put them in power. Don't put me in power. <laughs> Please. Don't put anyone in power that have Zionist views that are ISIS. That are extremists. Yeah. Kasi yun Kasi yung, yung Zionist extremists naman yun sila. Yeah. Sa, sa, ju, <sighs> sa Judaism. Yeah. Not all hindi representative, hindi Israel ang representative ng Jewish community. No? Hindi rep, hindi nagre-represent sa Jewish community ang Israel. So there are a lot of Jews that are not Zionists. So hindi din representative ng lahat ng wars na nangyari diyan sa Middle East ang mga Muslim. Exactly. Hindi representative ng IC, hindi representative ang ISIS, ang Maute, ang Abu Sayyaf ng mga Muslim. A lot of Muslim people that are just living their simple lives na nagtrabaho lang, umuwi sa pamilya, nag-honor killing, char. <laughs> <laughs> Joke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so po oh, extreme na. It's That's, just the same like Like us, like Christians na... Christian de ka. Like us, atheists, and mm. like Christians mm. na... Na they are just living their lives. Yeah. In peace. Yeah. They have really delicious food in Mindanao. <laughs> <laughs> Mindanao Muslims. <laughs> yeah. So, Anyone is not immune to be an extremist. I am not immune. I am already an extremist. Hindi ko lang ina-act out. 
I have very extreme views. Hindi ko lang ina-act out. Wala akong sinalihan ng mga movements. I think mas extreme ako sa iyo. Exactly, you are. <laughs> you are way more extreme than me than me, but we are not joining any kind of organizations. We are not yeah. interested in joining. We just want to work. Yeah. I just want to live here in in this ano, this house and play with my dogs. I'm just going to I'm not frustrated naman. Hindi ako ganoon ka. Hindi naman ako depressed na hindi na hindi nangyayari yung mga gusto ko. Mm. I am actually entertained. Kasi lahat ng mga nasa isip ko is nangyayari. Example si Duterte. Nangyari. Exactly as I was imagined na ganun yung mangyari. I even post said something na guys, uh, wag kayong magreklamo kung ano may estudyante na lumabas and barilin siya at mamatay kasi na na napagkamalang adik. Kasi this is what that this is what the system created. Mm. It created a system na pwede kang patayin kasi napagkamalan ka. Napagkamalan ka lang. Da, mara, ang dami nag-react. Takot ka lang kasi adik ka. Hindi ka hindi naman ganoon. Ano ka lang kasi adik ka siguro. Adik ka siguro, hindi naman 'yan totoo. Um, hindi naman 'yan mangyayari. <laughs> parang ha, 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 ha. para kang prophet prophet John John so, the prophet ka na sana yun yung, nang, yung, yung cousin ko na architect um, nakita ko pa nga yung video niya eh, na nagpa-praise during sa ano during sa election time ni Duterte he messaged me after um, months after sa pag-upo ni Duterte sabi niya na dyan Uh, na, na understand ko na yung sinabi mo I just saw a video a CCTV video of a student walking on the street gunned down by riding in tandem and lahat ng tao na nakakita is walang walang tumulong ilang tao daw yung nag pass by and hindi tumulong a lot of reasons could, could be uh, could be kasi alam nila na addict yung pinatay so wala lang or hey, ayaw nilang lapitan kasi baka mapagkamalan din sila and sila na ang next na target so that's what that's what ganun yung sistema na na-create ninyo out of the passion na gusto nyo ng pagbabago I know you want change we all want change I know, I, you all want peace you you Christian, my friends that are may may mga may mga mga kabatch ko, mga relatives ko that are pro Duterte. I know you want change. I know you But want they peace. Want I know abrupt you want changes man good. I know you want security. Um I know you want all the positive things that I also want for uh, for for me and for everyone. The problem is the solution that you are ang problema dito kasi ang solution mo you are not ve- hindi ka kasi educated enough to understand. Di. You're just pinafollow mo lang yung emotion mo gusto mong pumatay gusto mong patayin that's a very raw and and very real na An emotion emotion that's a very real na emotion but what happens to raw emotions when pag someone will piss me off I will hurt them immediately because that's my emotion but if I lay if I sit uh, pag tinulugan kong emo, tinulugan ko lang yung emotion na yun days later, hindi na ako galit. And hindi na ganoon ka-violent yung reaction ko sa tao na galit ako. So, emotions are not really a good tool to determine whether your decision to allow this kind of leader to run the Philippines is um, is the right thing. ba? Diba? Hindi maganda na hindi maganda na judgment na tool ang emotion. It's always through reading, through observing, through through empathy, um, through skepticism. Totoo ba talaga itong mga pinagsasabi niya? Kung totoo to, ano yung proseso niya? And it's always, um, yun, daming kabubuhan nangyari talaga sa Duterte na time. Yung mga tao na dumipensa, yung, uh, until now, there are still people that don't understand what human rights is. <laughs> I remember that that, 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 that that argument. So um they are silent now as uh, a lot of my friends are silent now kasi siguro 
uh, they're, pre- they're thinking that we don't remember yung mga pinagsasabi nila sa social we media. We have receipts. And I still, re- I still remember all of you. We have receipts. Some of you are silent now. A lot of you are still still noisy with your stupidity. And um, I hope a lot of us na galit talaga sa sistema ng patayan at galit talaga sa, sa sistema ng kabubohan will continue to speak out. Kasi they will be confident in speaking out their bullshit eh. Like ni ni ano ni si Ben Shapiro, ang bobo ni Ben Shapiro. Is, ay, ben Shapiro is really smart compared compared to us. Pat ang bobo ng ng ano niya, ng stand niya. Sabi niya ano. Uh, dumepensyo siya sa Israel. <laughs> What does he think Israel is doing? Hindi naman totoo yung yung Jesus niya sa mga Israelis? No. Jew man si Ben Shapiro. Hindi man na Christian si I ben thought Shapiro. Christian siya. No, he's a Jew. So, another, another propagandist. Uh, so, yun. Um, napunta kay Duterte, no? Kasi, it is it is kind of similar, eh. The, the idea of you having the authority of other people and um, treating treating other people like animals mm. is the trait that will bring us to a state that is Jerusalem non is Israel mm. 'di ba so if you have that kind of thinking na na if you have if you're a Christian that is pro Palestine na nagha-hashtag ng Free Palestine and is researching about the Palestine and you are aware na Israel is doing this for many years sa Palestine but at the same time supporter ka ni Duterte then you have you need to reflect <laughs> yourself yeah you need to reflect kasi you are supporting you you supported a system system of killing you supported EJK EJK was justified for you. Kaya nga. Naging justifiable ang pagpatay ng isang adik kasi adik siya. Same thing with what is legalize yung term na DDS, di ba? Yeah. Oh, not legalize but formalize or something. Na ano? Na desensitize. Desensitize. Yung DDS. That is what's happening in It means in Davao Death Squad. Not Duterte, Die Hard Duterte supporter. Mm. Na, na you speak. supported a system of killing. Mm-mm. Ang, what's, what's what's ironic is they turned it into Davao Death no they turned it into hindi naman do totoo yung Davao Death Squad ano kaya ginawa nila na the the Duterte supporter but at the same time killings are happening so kaya it nga. is it is proof that a Davao Death Squad did exist kasi totoo ang lahat ng nangyayari patayan naman talaga eh so there is a Davao Death Squad and killings are happening yun nga, li- latest pa nga na ano eh, na in, in public sinabi ni Duterte, ginamit niya yung intelligence fund to kill is to kill people in Davao nice <laughs> so, you nakiki free Palestine ka free Palestine, naintindihan mo na Israel is land grabbing, it's a land grabbing issue, the issue with Duterte is killing people without due process treating people that are just addicts or could not be could could possibly be not addicts we don't know kasi pinatay mm. na eh hindi natin alam natin alam eh so treating them like animals they're not animals they're not criminals i mean technically they are kasi kung gumagamit ka di ba kung technically they are but you don't treat criminals like drug use like they are animals mm. so you don't treat at ad- treat addicts like they're animals. In an inhumane way. Yeah, they're, they're people. They they have human rights. These are deserving of murder and killing by our state police. So, it is fucking ironic that you are f- doing Free Palestine now and you supported the Duterte. So, please, please reflect on that. So, do not subscribe to any kind of system na justifiable ang killing. Kahit na grabe na yung... La- kahit na sobra na yung talamak ang drugs ng Pilipinas, it is still not justifiable. Kasi, ganun, sab, yun yung sinabi ng cousins ko eh. Cousin ko, sabi niya na, na, 
sobra na talaga ang drugs dyan kaya we need to have like a different kind of way to in solving it. it it he made a justification so w- let's imagine ano kaya ang justification ng mga ng, ng, ng Israel state sa mga Jewish people mm. ang dami na kasing Palestinian kinukuha na nila yung mga lupa natin they are animals let's all kill them it's it's a complete it's, it's the same Hindi lang large scale ang kay Duterte, it's a small scale, ano, large scale Philippines. National. <laughs> so, may ima- kota pa yung mga police. Yeah. Hindi lang, hindi lang, hindi lang hindi lang siya tawag doon, hindi lang siya nag-expand ng masyado kasi thanks to our people that are fighting that voiced out there. Salamat sa mga tao na kumontra. na ayaw talaga yung sistema ng patayan and silencing and red tagging it is still prevalent unto, until this day but yeah nakiki free palestine ka pakireflect kung ano yung mga pinagsinusuportahan dito sa Pilipinas nang red tag ka ng mga taga UP <laughs> diba? red tag ka, pinapasilent mo, kinukulong, pinapakulong mo yung taong opposite lang yung view sa kanya. Si Pura Luka. Kaya nga. No? So, you are not a free for, for Palestine. You do not understand what really is happening or you you, you can't reflect your sa, sa sarili mo. Kung ano talaga. Diba? You're, you're crying now with what is happening in Gaza. Mga bata, ng mga inosente. But you are doing it yourself. You are supporting a state that is for killing. So, okay. Hindi ako immune. Hindi immune ang Pilipinas sa, sa, sa mundo na, na, na may Gaza and pwede tayong maging Gaza. Na, naging Gaza na nga tayo. ba? Diba? May mga rural na mga areas na binulabog na mga polis. Sponsored ng state. ng taxpayers money to kill people. So nang nangyari na sa Pilipinas yun, hindi lang hindi lang bomba, hindi bala. Okay? So let's watch the videos that I saw on TikTok. Refugees yeah. to Egypt. So there were news, there were news na ang Israel is nag, nagbigay ng nagbigay ng leaflets ga, ta, telling where to go, where to exit, do, go to this route, exit on this exit point, but binomba ang route and binomba yung exit point. So a lot of ambulance came back and <laughs> and umiyak yung mga drivers kasi yun na binomba yung truck na in front of them kaya kailangan nilang bumalik <laughs> what the fuck this was on August 10 oh no October 10 a week ago So another thing, another thing na ano, another thing that we need to consider, uh, almost 50% ng population ng Gaza are children, 18 years old and below. Almost 50%, so ilan sila? 2 million? Ang population ng, ng Gaza. So almost 50% are, are under the age of 18. So put that into your head. <laughs> Imagine that. binomba ang Gaza Strip ng Israel um, with 50% children. Uh, okay, let's start here. I've been watching the airstrikes. So what's, your question? So what, what's your question? Well, I was asked. Well, I would ask you if you were Israel. What would uh, you? If I was Israel. If you were Israel and that had happened to you. What would you uh-huh. think would be the appropriate way for the country to respond? 
I would do exactly like Israel did, kill as many people as possible since the, the, the world is letting me do it. I mean, I, I can do it because I can, you know. But the thing is, you know what, I agree with you. And you know what, I'm going to be even ahead of you because I see the question coming. Do you condemn Hamas for the atrocity? Yes, I condemn Hamas. I condemn Hamas. I condemn Hamas. Hamas is the source of all evil. They are religion for everything. And you know what? Let's, for a minute, imagine a world without Hamas. Right. What will this world look like? Mm. Let's give this world a name. And let's name this world the West Bank. Hamas has absolutely no control in the West Bank. And this is the beginning of this street. Only through August, 37 Palestinian kids were killed. Mm. No music festival, no paragliding, no Hamas. Mm. Since the occupation of the West Bank, 7,000 Palestinians were killed. No music festival, no paragliding, no Hamas. Mm. I can go on and on and on and on. No, no, but you about, don't, you don't need to West because in a, way, in a way you're preaching to the choir. I've, I follow this crisis. Oh, no, you're not preaching. So the, the, the thing is like... I, well, in the sense I, that I, know, saying, I know that what you're saying has validity, of course. Of course uh, Pierce, Pierce, by the way, Pierce, 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 I am at a disadvantage here. I can hear you, I cannot see you. Mm. I am in a claustrophobic room. And so please cut, cut me some slack and don't interrupt me and interrupt my point. Sure. So, uh, because it's, this, this has to be fair. Understand. Uh, because if you want to only hear your opinion, I can just condemn Hamas and go home. I can do that. So if you, do you want to do that or do you have a much more nuanced conversation? No, I absolutely want to have a nuanced conversation. I wasn't aware I was interrupting you. I thought I was having speaking. Amazing. So let's, I mean, I, mean I, would say, I would say I really applaud Israel for doing one thing that no military force in the world does. Because I heard, I heard Ben Shapiro and I heard Ron DeSantis, and they said, they said Israel is the only military force in the world that warns civilians before bombing them. I mean, how <laughs> fucking cute! That is so nice of them. So, because with this logic, if Russian troops started warning Ukrainians before bombing their houses, we're cool with Putin, right? I get scared, I'm about. I get scared, Tom. Um, the only. The only military force who warned their civilians <laughs> before bombing them. <laughs> Yan yung tinweet ni ano eh, ni Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro. Mm. So, ang decent naman ng military force ng Israel. Mm. They warned the civilians before bomb- bombing them. So, if that's that's a good logic, then we we need to praise the Uh, mga magnanakaw pala na hey magnanakaway uh, namin yung bahay mo pamayang gabi magsasend ng leaflet um, please amalis ka sa bahay mo para hindi ka namin patayin diba? ang, ang decent naman ng ganun <laughs> yun yung logic niya <laughs> which is very funny no this guy Basem is really I first time I heard about him so I'm gonna follow this guy I already I'm followed okay, him <laughs> you have uh, warned them go invade it's fine you have done your job I mean, the thing is, and I understand, all, and I also heard Ben Shapiro talking about, uh, about human shield. So you remember my wife's family, they live in Gaza. So I asked them, I told them, when Israel give you the nice warning, the cute warning, the cute warning. does Hamas force you to stay in your home so you can be bombed and use a, a, as, as human shield? You know what, Hassan, her, uh, my, my, wife's, uh, my wife's cousin, he's a, he's, a, he's a loser, you know. He told me, you know, when I asked him, does that happen? He told me, no. The lying son of a bitch lied to me. I told him, you don't understand. Ben Shapiro and Ron DeSantis keep saying that Israel warned you and Hamas... Act- Butol. Butol. Okay. So, 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 so now, so so now, so now if to- I ask the question, can I, can I say something on my side? Well, a little you've, bit personal? No, Bassam, with respect, a little bit personal? Ha- Bassam, with respect, I gave you half the show to have your side. Jeremy's had a lot less time. Uh, I am going to have to move on. you want me to leave? Bassam, I'm going to I'm gonna have to let you go because we've been on there with you for 40 minutes oh, Okay, now, bye-bye. Right? But listen, bye-bye. bye-bye. I'd like to talk to you again <laughs> and thank you for joining the program. I appreciate it. Oh, by, 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 by the way, my, my, my wife's family is, is all right and they sent us a house. It's, it's bombed. It's beautiful. It's, it's going to be a good... Uh, uh, like Halloween theme. So well, I'm very sorry for what your family are going through in Gaza. No, I mean, I'm very sincere. By the way, I don't know. I, I don't know my. Fa- I don't know him. By the way, I don't. I haven't actually met them. They didn't even come to my wedding. They couldn't because they are stuck in Gaza. Okay. And she never saw them because you know Gaza is not a destination. Bassem, I, as I say, we, we, I, Gaza is not a destination. Oh, we we hear their voices and it's uh, they they die. It's fine. It's I'm, fine. Bassem, I wish your family all the very best. Thank you for joining me. I... This guy is my you know, my hero. 
doctor was shocked to find that his kids were among the victims due to the continuous bombing on Gaza. <laughs> I will sleep inside my demolished house. I will never leave. اللي طلع على المستشفى ثمانية اللي بعرفه أنا ثمانية ولكن شوفي عندي تحت البيت فيه كان ميتين البيت كان فيه ميتين ما بأطباء نساء آمنين يعني أنا لما صارت القصر بقول مين عايش بس يقول اسمه لأنه كتار يابا مين عايش يعني بكل صراحة هنيئا لهذا العالم الحر هنيئا لأوروبا Congratulations, Congratulations to the, to the Europe, European Union. So they they really they really know what's happening. Now they've been I know they've been bullied by by Western civilizations, ba Europe. Yes. For showing off your empowerment on children and women. This is this is what this is what's funny. We are exactly. we are pro LGBT, pro women. Our women are pro free. empowerment of women. Yeah, independent women. We all have that kind of freedom here, but we are using uh, our uh, not we, but the U.S. is using the, its power to to uh, no, to bomb cities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That are women and children. If they think that the Palestinian people. If they think that the Palestinian people. والله لن يذل ولا ملايشن أو بريك داون يكسر ولا نرحل من هنا أنا الليلة ثابت في بيتي المهدم ولا نرحل إلا أنا خرجت من تحت الركام انظر يا بايدن كل الصواريخ والطائرات وحاملات الطائرات الذي أتت إلى غزة هي is aware بنا the the money I mean, are you aware na ano yung carpet, iron carpet ng Israel is a technology na supported and maintained by the taxpayers' money sa US? What's iron carpet? Hindi makakapagland. It's very impressive na na technology. Lahat ng rockets na binato ng Hamas hindi na kakapagland sa Israel. They they have a ano anti missile na mga technology. Kaya parang fireworks lang sa ang nangyayari sa Israel kasi they have that technology which are billions of dollars worth na funded by the US government so they are protected I mean that, that's good no I mean kinsa may, sino ba naman ang gusto mapahamak yung, yung Israel, Israelis din at Jews we don't wish for them to be hurt that's a kind of tech, that's a very beautiful na technology but sila wala <laughs> Nakatarget sa ano? Hindi man lang sa Israel yung galit niya. You did it. You don't hear him say na I will kill all the Jews. Fuck all the Jewish people. No, he he is aware na it's the state. It's the government. It's the government. It is not the difference of religions. Okay. Which this is a Jewish person, na somewhere in. Just causing this conflict. The state of Israel does not represent all Jews, and certainly does not represent the Jewish religion. The the people that are pro Lenny does not represent the whole Filipinos. We do not. Hindi kami sangayon sa patayan sa sa war on drugs. We are against drugs. We are not addicts. 
we know solutions to the drug problem hindi patayan i'm like this guy except that i'm talking about something else he is talking about something else all of this is for the same basic sentiment of right teaches that jews are in, in a divinely de decreed exile we are even forbidden to create a sovereignty for ourselves but especially when this is by killing stealing oppressing an entire people this is not only criminal according to international law this is a true violation of judaism and still though it's a true violation of judaism sabi niya di ba but i doubt i think he's just just I think he is just, ano, I know cancer talaga ang turo ng, nandun. It's just the beautiful minds of people that will really make reasons para gawin mabuti yung masama. Yan yung ano ko eh, yan yung, yung parang uh, may hope and faith pa din ako sa humanity. Kasi, not, not the books, but the humanity. Yeah. I know itself. that the book is cancer. It has a lot of teachings. Whatever holy book that is, it is cancer. But because of humans, because of how, because of humanity, they were able to make um, beautiful versions of a bad, uh, bad text. So para sa sabi niya na hindi naman criminal naman yun against uh, ang ginawa ng Israel is against Judaism. I doubt. I doubt. But he is doing a different thing. Whatever man yung tinitch ng, ng ano niya, libro niya, siguro manakop ka. Sinabi niya, hindi, hindi naman yun ang turo. Even though it is. Kaya nga may fundamentalist eh. Is he a priest? Uh, I mean, a rabbi? Rabbi, I think. Kaya nga may fundamentalist eh. Meaning, fundamentalist, fundamental ka sa turo ng libro mo. Kaya nga, pag fundamentalist ka, fucked up ka eh. Hindi ka pwedeng i-assimilate sa society. Even if you're a Christian, Mahirap kang i ihalo sa atheists, sa Christians, sa mga Muslim, pag fundamentalist ka, whatever fundamentalist you are. True. Kasi you are fundamentally in line with your holy book and your holy book is fucked up. True. Kaya nga, the lesser Christian you are, the, the more you are distant from what the text is from your Bible, the more human you are. People who choose not to follow Judaism, misuse that very same religion to justify all those crimes forbidden in Judaism. The root cause is this criminal occupation mm. which is opp oppressing an entire people. We have to end this occupation in its entirety. If people will ask me my advice, the leaders of Israel should wake up tomorrow morning and step out of the Knesset and return the land back to indig in indigenous population. Yeah, I guarantee it. peace. It's it's a peace. Ibalik mo yung lupa sa sa lahat. Hindi lang sa Jew, sa Jews, sa Arabs and sa Christians. There will be peace. Kinuha mo eh, para sa inyo lang eh. My name is uh, Dr. Gassan Abusita. My name is Dr. Gassan Abusita. I am a plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I am a British Palestinian volunteer with Medicine Sans Frontier. This morning, upon the request of Al Ahli Hospital administration, I moved from Shifa Hospital to Al Ahli Hospital to help out with the treatment of some of the wounded as the number of wounded had exceeded the number of beds in the hospital. We had been operating all day and had made the decision that in order to continue operating on these patients, I would stay behind um, and sleep at the hospital. In the evening, after we finished one of the surgeries, we heard a missile screech following by a huge explosion. As a result of the explosion, part of the ceiling of the operating room fell. As I moved towards the outside of the operating room and uh, towards the emergency department, we could see bodies of children piled up, both dead, not moving, and wounded. There were several who had been amputated. I tended to a man who had his leg blown off at the thigh. We then carried on 
trying to resuscitate the patient. When the ambulance came, I decided to help out by carrying one of the wounded who had had a shrapnel in his neck into the ambulance. As I was walking towards the ambulance, there were parts of there were body parts everywhere, and there were bodies piled up in the courtyard of the hospital. I then got into the ambulance and escorted the patient back to Shifa Hospital. This morning, when I drove into the hospital, I noted how full the hospital courtyard was with families who had sought refuge inside the hospital, thinking that it would be a safe haven. It's these very same families who are now either dead or critically wounded as a result of this attack. This is a war crime that the world has seen coming. Israel has been warning the entire world that it was going to attack Palestinian hospitals. And it did exactly that. Every Western politician who has declared unconditional support for Israel's war effort on the Palestinian people has their hands, has the blood of these children on their hands. That unconditional support is what led us to this massacre. The impunity that Israel believes it has from its Western allies is what has led to this massacre. No other country feels the impunity to target hospitals and get away with it. What happened today is a war crime, and if the Israelis get away with it again, then more war crimes will be committed and more hospitals will be targeted. Another parallel that what I see is happening. Do you condemn the, 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 the against Kabas sa ginawa ni Duterte? Yung ano, let's say NPA. NPA is terrorist na group dito sa Philippines, di ba? Um, when the NPA pag inatake ng NPA yung let's say may may gulo or pinatay ng mga military na mga NPA ng NPA pinatay yung mga police or military meron silang ambush suddenly yung yung question ng tao is ano do you condemn the NPA or mag, w- bakit hindi ka nag bakit hindi ka na, nagpo-protesta sa NPA ka, you do remember that yes why you are against the police that are killing but why are you not protesting outside and shouting I that. yeah shouting ano why, but na protesta sila kay Duterte but sa mga NPA hindi this is the same thing with the, with interviews asking Palestinians whether they condemn Hamas that's another parallel, parallel. kasi it's like why are you asking me if I condemn Hamas? Hamas is a terrorist group. It is not Palestine. It is not a representation of the the Gaza state. It is not state sponsored. It is a terrorist group. Same thing with NPA. Bakit ba ako lalabas at mag maggagawa ng paskil na down with the NPA, down with the NPA. They are terrorist group. The government should solve that problem. We should go out and and mag ano gagawa tayo ng placard na hey government solve this problem bakit may mga NPA mm. kasi they are terrorist group not ex- yeah it is it hindi naman expected ang NPA na gumawa ng mabuti we didn't pay taxes for for NPA kaya hindi tayo pwedeng magreklamo na lumabas and ang bad ng NPA ang, ang <laughs> can you can you imagine ang bad exactly. ng Hamas take down Hamas. They May, have that argument you, I remember. Kasi lalabas ka lang kapag inexpect mo yung isang bagay na gumawa ng tama pero hindi gumagawa ng tama. Just mm. like the government. Kaya merong mga protest. Protest. Do you do protest to terrorist? Nagpo-protesta ka ba sa ISIS? Down with ISIS or nagpo-protesta ka ba versus Abu Sayyaf? Hindi, di ba? What is happening in your head? Why are you requesting the people that are against the wrong things that the government is doing to also do protest against NPA. NPA is not state-sponsored. It is a terrorist group. Same thing with Hamas. So, kaya, kaya nga, na-understand ko na yung mga question, kasi sabi ko dati, ang poor talaga ng PR ng Palestinian. Kasi when they were asked during interview, do you condemn Hamas? Hindi nila sinasagot. 
I now fully understand why 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 they don't answer it. Kasi why why would I? Say? It is basic to condemn them. They are terrorists. It is basic. You don't ask that. You don't ask that whether they con- you condemn the killing of children and innocent civilians. You don't ask that. It is automatic that we all we all ano condemn the killing of innocent lives. Same thing with NPA. We all condemn NPA for killing innocent lives. You don't ask that. So, na-understand ko na kasi it's a complete parallel na naman sa NPA situation dito sa Pilipinas. Do you condemn? Bakit hindi ka nagpro-protesta sa mga NPA? Obviously, hindi siya state. <laughs> I do not expect it to behave. I expect the government to to control so, them, mm. to solve that problem, to solve the NPA problem. So, what I'm going to do is protest against their policies that are promoting NPA or the policies that are encouraging NPA. I will go out and protest again to the government. Hindi ako magpo-protest sa NPA. <laughs> ang bobo mo naman. <laughs> Grabe, saan ba ba, ba nilagay ang utak mo? To request for us to also go out and protest against NPA. <laughs> Nangyari sa utak mo? So, same thing with their, this Hamas. Kaya na frustrate yung iba pag tinanong, do you condemn Hamas? Siguro, what the fuck are you asking? Like, do I? Some, do you think I support Hamas? Do you think I secretly support Hamas? Do you think I secretly support a terrorist group that kills innocent civilians? That's the that's the logic siguro na kaya hindi nila masagot. Kasi ang bobo ng tanong. True. And it's their mistake for not answering kasi bobo ang nagtanong talaga. Mm. Bobo talaga ang nagtanong. Kaya kailangan mong sagutin kasi bobo ang mga nangitakikinig. That, that's why you have to answer. Kaya um, nag-answer ngayon si ano eh. Yung kanina. Oh, I si condemn Basem. Hamas. Asim, uh, I condemn Hamas. All right, all right. Ako, I condemn. Yeah. Parang pina... Ina... Ina sarcastic na. Oh, ina sarcastic way na. Okay, okay. It's a stupid question. It's not... <laughs> it's a stupid question. Anyone is against the killing of civilians. So, who wants to... Only the terrorists support themselves. Di ba? It's not a state versus a state. It is a state versus a terrorist. And then ang, ang binomba is ang 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 area kung saan nandoon daw yung mga terrorist sa hospital. So here's an architect's point of view about um, apartheid. You can spot apartheid just by looking at the urban fabric of the land. You can also spot apartheid just by looking at Israel's building codes. So yun, mga visible na na apartheid na system, visible na kikita. The apartheid state, also known as Israel, loves using their building codes, such as implementing red roofs for Israeli citizens. Why, you ask? Oh, let me tell you why. They implement red roofs because the IOF, the occupational forces, don't want to accidentally drone strike one of their own. So the red roof is a <laughs> identifier between who's Palestinian and who's a settler. Another thing... <laughs> Para hindi ma-target ng mga Tomahawk missile ang mga red roofs. That's pretty crazy in the architectural realm in the urban fabric <laughs> is the amount of checkpoints there are. There are around 638 temporary checkpoints for Palestinians to go through every single fucking day. There are 129 permanent checkpoints that Palestinians got to go every single fucking day. One of the most brutal checkpoints known to Palestinians is checkpoint 300. Checkpoint 300 has a wait time of 7 hours. Checkpoint 300 is located in Bethlehem. At least 60,000 Palestinians go through Checkpoint 300 every single fucking day. Going back to the Gaza Strip real quick. Gaza used to have a airport it opened in 1998. It was called the Yasser Arafat Airport. Unfortunately, because the apartheid state is a petty bitch, they bombed the airport into oblivion and it closed in 2001. Put this in perspective, there are 6 million Palestinians living in diaspora. There are 2.2 million Palestinians living in the Gaza Strip. There are 3 million Palestinians living in the West Bank. 6 million of those Palestinians living in diaspora cannot return. If so, they are heavily questioned in the Israeli airport for just being Palestinian. And just to put in perspective of what's happening in Gaza right now, it's again, 2.2 million Palestinians, median age is 18, half of the population is under 15 years old, 97% of the water is undrinkable, okay? It takes 
15 years to build one water well in Gaza. As of 2014, the apartheid state has destroyed over 215 water wells. And what to conclude from an architectural point of view, Palestinians do not have the freedom of movement on their land. They do not have the right to build their own shelter on their land. They do not have the right to farm on their land. So to summarize this up, if the international community really gave a shit about Palestinians, they would have acknowledged the Palestinian grievances long ago. I understand the, the humor, but I, to be serious, uh, Bassem, about this, Tonight, there okay, is I will be serious. Now, I, I, I will be serious. I was watching you with Ben Shapiro, and I will tell you one thing. Yeah. I think that Ben Shapiro is one of the smartest people who ever walked this earth. He's very, very smart. I follow him, and I believe everything he said. And when he came out on your show, his solution was, and I quote, his solution was that the solution for this is for Israel to annex Gaza and to kill as many son of bitches as possible to make sure that this will never happen again. And anyone anyone who call for a ceasefire will be a terrorist sympathizer so god forbid i don't want to be labeled as a terrorist sympathizer so i agree with ben shapiro i think we should kill as many son of bitches as possible well let me so okay. far but Basim, free, let me see uh, that says, uh, says i know what ben shapiro mean, uh, means hindi naman kill palestines sons of bitches meaning patayin lahat ng hamas yun yung ibig sabihin ni ben shapiro he didn't say kill all the palestine he said kill all the sons of bitches but what is happening? Are the old sons of bitches namatay ba lahat ng mga sons of bitches doon? Yun ba? Kasi, kasi kill as many sons of bitches as possible, naubos ba yung Hamas? O naubos yung mga bata sa mga bomba? So, yun yung argument niya. So, okay. Kill all the sons of bitches. So far, 3,000... So far, na. 500 people were killed, hmm. including 5,000 sons of bitches in the bombing of the Baptist uh, 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 hospital as we speak right now. Mm -hmm. One third of those 3,500 were children. So my question to Ben Shapiro is, how many more sons of bitches do we need to kill so Ben Shapiro is happy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, I know what Ben Shapiro means. I know, I know, I know na hindi naman siya pro-killing Palestinians is pro-killing Hamas. But what is, is Israel doing? It's killing the children. I'm a colonizer and I am a decolonizer and we are fighting. I have 48 attack helicopters, 2200 tanks, 250 jet fighters <laughs> and 170,000 active military personnel. And I don't have food, water, electricity or fuel. I have human rights and I don't. I have hang gliders and bulldozers. I took their home. My home was taken. I'm backed by the world's greatest empire in human history. And I live in an open-air concentration camp. I'm in constant violation of international law and face no accountability ever. I'm recognized as the single greatest humanitarian crisis on Earth. I have completely encircled my enemy by land, air, and sea and have them hermetically sealed off from the rest of the world. And about half of my population of two million is children. I constantly violate ceasefire agreements. And I uphold ceasefire agreements until they're broken. Both sides are bad. I'm very smart. Both sides are bad. I'm very smart. That's the common sentiment right now. It's a complete, complex down uh, issue. Both sides are bad. Diba? Both sides are bad. And it is not. It's Israel, man. Civilized nation on earth would agree that de depriving children of food and water is acceptable. I'm here because I'm a human being and anyone with a conscience 
believes that a civilian population should never be punished in this way. It's collective punishment. It's a war crime. And unless we stop it, unless we get out there and say something, it's going to end up with thousands losing their lives. Can you put into words how you feel about the loss of life on both sides? Every life is precious. But the root of this violence is the occupation. It's not complicated. It's a settler colonial state imposing apartheid and oppression on an indigenous people. And that's wrong everywhere for anybody. And it has to be true that all the Palestinians want is freedom. And we must support that in equal rights. And I stand up here, I'm so pleased to see so many of my uh, brothers and sisters with big hearts who know the truth. And the Western media has a duty now to tell the truth about what's happening because I am seeing the worst horrors I could ever have imagined. I grew up in the shadow of the Holocaust and we said never again and that means never again for anyone. And I beg of anyone, if they have a conscience, get out there and speak and demand your leaders speak. There seem to be, of course, deep divisions on either side, but you've come out today and you were telling me earlier that this is about being a human, a fellow human being. I'm so thrilled to, to be here among my brothers and sisters who can see the truth despite all the propaganda and the lies and the bias and the prejudice that we see in the Western media. It has been, quite frankly, a, a, an appalling week. What would you like to see the UK government do now? They must demand a ceasefire. They must demand that Israel stop bombing children and stop burying them under rubble. They must demand a humanitarian corridor so aid and medical supplies can get in. They must demand they have electricity. They must demand that there is food and water. This is, a, uh, this is an emergency now, a crisis, and people must rise to it. Hospital. Just imagine guys, Israel has the power to cut off water water supply sa Gaza. So it's a collective punishment. May gumawa ng masama na isang maliit na grupo na Hamas and the people that are being punished is the entire Gaza Strip. Tinanggalan ng tubig, electricity, internet. A little amount. So my share was 500 millimeters for the whole day. And now while I'm shooting, a little kid took the water from my uh, bag and just ran away. It's not stealing, he's in need, but now I don't have water until the end of the day. This is catastrophe. I don't know how do you read the problem, how do you read the situation, but today is 10 times worse than yesterday. 100 times worse than the first day. Okay? Gaza is collapsing. Naglabad akong ulo. Yan, ito. Israel, the Israeli occupation forces deceived the citizens of Gaza after warning them to leave their homes and then attacking them on the roads. Money. Ito yung mga ano, mga ambulances that are in a pile. May mga trucks that are in a pile. The, the Palestinians are in the trucks. Binomba yung mga truck. Hindi na, hindi na yung Yes, 
it's like it's like Israel right now is the the police that we had on during the Duterte's administration complete impunity to do war crimes to do crimes ba kasi supported siya by every powerful nation west europe russia ano na russia but us so complete na impunity they can do shit because they have already brainwashed us that muslims are terrorists muslims are animals they deserve to be killed it's common to to hear about the news na nagpapatayan yung mga muslim diyan sa kasi magulo yung religion nila kaya is justified they're not humans these people are not humans they are animals that what it ito yung tinuro sa atin eh ito yung media na dumadating sa atin. they're not people same thing of what happened to the Jews yeah, the Jews diba during Hitler's time <laughs> they're not humans they're cockroaches and their state I, I doubt duda ko baka baka Nazi ang mga may naka infiltrate may mga Zionist na kasi dati pa The Allah Akbar scream is it's like a joke now that what comes after of Allah Akbar scream is explosion. Ito yung parang it's it's their it's their God bless you. I love God. It's their cry for their God. It's their religion, man. It's not I'll shout this and then I'll do harm. Even Christian hmm. na Palestinian, hmm. they say Allah Akbar because it's Arabic. It's Arabic for God, oh. not Allah. Not it's not praising Allah but it's praising God. Mm. Like the general so, God. Like it's Arabic language. Mm. So maski yung mga Christian na Palestinian mm. they say Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar because mm. they it's, speak Arabic. It's the Arabic for praise uh, praise pe- God uh, or something yeah. like that. Uh, God help us or so something. It's, it's not, a cry. It's a cry for it, God, right? Mm-mm. It's not exclusive to Muslim. But what's happening? Diba? Allah Akbar explosion. The memes. Allah Akbar! Boom! We are painting. We are we are through many years we're painting the Muslim community like they are barbaric. They are terrorists. That's why when things like this happen we don't bat an eye. We don't get angry kasi lagi naman yan nangyayari sa kanila like they're not humans na dehumanized talaga sila and um, I'm so I feel so sorry for them this time Rakam this time huh? Good now, yeah? Yes, sir. Yes? Good now, yeah? Is that possible? Is that possible to control me? Can I have a hand? Yeah, but this is how you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 He is he nag tried siya to tough himself up ba? by shaking. Ha huh. these are sons of bitches. These are animals that deserve to be bombed. They're not humans, they're barbaric, they're hateful. 
They're terrorists. Yeah. Ito yung ginawa nila pang brainwash sa atin to support their death and suffering. So, I don't know what to do. I just, siguro, continue ko lang tong pag-speak out. I am in fear of what will happen if Palestine is free. Is it gonna be democra- democracy na sila na free na sila and walang nagko-control? O free sila pero controlled ng Iran? Free sila pero controlled ng isa na namang grupo na Islamic yung ideology? So, another, it's you're no different from an Israel, Israeli state. So, I wish for you to be free, pero please, please fight still for ano for the the real freedom na kayo ang kayo ang totoong totoong ano yung yung bosses ninyo ang papapakinggan hindi bosses ng mga zionist hindi bosses ng mga extremist extremist ng mga islamic state bosses ninyo as a muslim as a christian and as a jew create a create a state that welcomes everyone that doesn't discriminate that doesn't ano Yeah, exactly. Do you want to say something before I end this? I am speechless. <laughs> Literal na masakit yung ulo ko sa mga nakita kong video. Bakit, in, bakit hindi mo ito pinanood sa TikTok? Why are you shielding yourself from this kind of news? Kasi gusto kong umiwas sa doom scrolling eh. Ano yan? Yung nagsuscroll ka lang and oh, it's all about bad news and... It's news. Doom scrolling, that's what you call I mean, it. I'm just watching news. I'm not, I'm not inviting doom, uh, no, something negative. It's news. It's what's happening. So thank you for showing me that kay kasi it made me see light na dapat oh dapat mag-speak out mm-hmm. all the time and yeah be aware speak out we need to always I mean I'm aware out. but <clears throat> be more vigilant yeah I am uh, here's what I really think I think evil will ano will really triumph over good but yung siguro uh, what i'm hopeful for is for it to be delayed it will come it all is already happening here yung Duterte kind of leadership that's what i so- tell told you another leader will come that is more extreme than Duterte and we will our voices will be more ano man, yeah i i know that evil will really win I know eventually uh, we will become Gaza someday and an Israel kind of problem <clears throat> I am hindi hindi maganda ang future ahead of me kaya nga nagdecide tayo hindi maganak eh. aside sa economical na problem even though we have high salaries we can't afford kasi we have we ha- we yeah we have mental instability And um, the the state of our economy is terrible. We we can we can foresee kasi of things that will happen. <laughs> it's not something that I have like a prophetic na ano no. But it's just obvious. Things are just keeps on repeating. It these things are happened in the past and it's gonna keep on happening. Uh, and we, we, there's nothing we can do but to delay. Sana hindi siya mangyari sa generation natin na, na nangyari na nga, hindi gan, sana ganoon ka worse. Madelay man lang dito sa Philippines. It will happen, I'm sure. I'm very sure. And because, now I feel helpless. Because of what I said? Because of what's happening. Yeah. I couldn't do anything. No, you, you can... Is, na, yeah. Like directly... Uh, Like, you can donate. You can donate. I have already donated ten dollars. Sa ano to? Sa tacos ni mo? No, sa ano? Like yung for children. Mm. The, I'll share the link. Put it in the description. Donation to like 
para may food man lang doon or shelter <clears throat> how I wish I can travel there and uh, stop my job and then photo journal not photo no I'm gonna take I'm gonna give palis the Palestine the, the Palestinians their their freedom help um but yun na nga may hesitation kasi I have this fear that Islamists will just take over it's not the Palestinians fault it's not their fault like it's not my fault that a Duterte <laughs> sat down as a president it's not my fault it's not the Palestinians fault na makakaupo na naman ng isang Islamist na ideology as a state sa Palestina that is why <clears throat> that is why I'm I'm not very optimistic of the future I just wanna delay things para hindi ako madamay I just wanna delay things I just wanna I just want people to be educated enough. I have changed a lot of minds already in, in my circle. My mama and tatay were atheists. My uh, my sister is an atheist. They have more different views now compared to before uh, about social issues. I was I, I I I in a way I've changed people's minds in my own simple way. You can do to delay it. To delay the problem. <laughs> I don't think uh, we will. Uh, the next na uupo is going to be a lot better. It's going to be much worse. No? It's going to be much worse. For it all of us. It is important to keep fighting evil and keep evil at bay. I'm not going to win over evil. That's not going to happen. Just keep it at bay. I'm just going to at least delay it. Because yeah, there's still it there's still forces eh from our side that stops evil. For example, yung killing na stop, di ba? Na temporary stop yung EJK ni Duterte. Na um ano pa? Yung mga but, but there's still ang, ang problema kasi ang ang utak eh. Hindi na fix yung utak kasi for example, yeah, na-stop nga ang ang EJK, pero did the people's uh, idea about extrajudicial killing change? No. Still the same. They are they are still existing right now. Who correct ha may mga anak and may mga may mga anak na tuturuan na naman nila ng kabulastogan. And sila naman na naman yung voters in the future. So um I am not hopeful. I'm not optimistic. I just want it to be delayed until I die. Pag mamatay na ako, hala, mag, magkainan kayo. Magpatayan na kayo. <laughs>